Today's tip is brought to you by Carbon Express, when accuracy counts. Quacks and Racks, LLC, Outdoor Apparel. Fisherman Custom Rods and Tackle. All right, so we already have our arrow on its rest, and we've got it leveled, the, the bow in the vise, and now we've got our arrow level on it as well. So we're good to start our tie. Now, before we do that, let's prep this, the D-loop material for tying. All right, first what we're going to do is we're going to take our D-loop material, okay? This happens to be a four in some, maybe close to four inch section that we're going to be using. I'm going to match the red to the red on the bow. What we're going to do first is we're going to take each end and we're going to fray it. And I'm going to do that simply by rubbing against the ends, creating kind of like a little troll doll head type here. We're going to do it something like that on each side. It doesn't have to be huge, but you need it enough because this material here is what's going to get burned, okay? Not burned, but melted into our mushroom top cap. There we go. So secondly, what we're going to do, and this is one of the easier ways to do it, is to take a lighter, okay? This is just a big lighter. And what we're going to do is we're going to light and run it over the end. See it shrinking like that. All right, this material is not great. We're going to melt it against the side there. One more time. So it's not pretty, but it will work. All right, sorry if you didn't catch that there. We'll do it to this one, this side too. What we're going to do is we're going to, again, take the frayed end, gonna melt it. Make sure you don't do this by the bow. All right. Once it's good and hot, we take the end, smush it to create a little mushroom cap there. Okay? This material turns black. Most of the good stuff, like the BCY and all that other fun stuff, um, they don't turn colors or they're already dark enough to where you can't really notice. Key step next, though, is one thing I like to do is I like to take some wax. Okay? This happens to be boning wax. And before I tie my loop, okay, I run the entire thing in wax. Kind of like a hockey player does his laces, okay? This allows the tie, okay, the knots, to be much stronger, tighter, okay? And also it kind of serves and protects the uh, the actual um, deal material itself. Kind of like you protect your, uh, your kind of like how you protect your bowstring, you're going to want to protect your D-loop as well. So, let's get to tying. Alright, first things first, we have the arrow in nearly perfect position there. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take the delete material, fold it over like so, okay? We're gonna pass it against the string, bend these two behind it, and you're going to take the bottom one, all right? And you're gonna pull it like so, okay? Now, I like to take the bigger of the two mushroom top there and do that as the first one, so the bottom one. That way, um, it's easier to pass this one through the next series part of the loop. All right? So we're running the battery. Let's do this quick. We're going to go across. Go inside. Go across. Over. Back up. And I like to use... A pair of needle nose here to help me always double checking my arrow location as far as the levelness past the mushroom head back through this bottom knot okay so the tight fit here hold on let me Snug it down a little bit more. Boom. Okay. Before I cinch it down, okay, before I create the permanent knot, I'm going to check everything first. Okay. We might want to... Looks, looks like we might want to... 
tad lower there. Boom, okay. Now I'm gonna slightly pinch this out. All right. First off, I'm gonna take my little pair of needle nose here. I'm gonna create a little more of a pressure there. Now I'm gonna take my D loop pliers real quick, get them in there, and pull. And there you have it. That, my friends, is the very, very tight, permanent D loop that is not gonna go anywhere, create great performance. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Catch you guys on the flip side.